what's really different about being a doctor in a hospital versus being one in the SAF is that we've really got our fingers on the pulse. We're not just worried about the patients that we see on a day-to-day -day basis, but the ones that are yet to come. Whenever humanitarian crisis happens or disasters pop up in the area, we have to be ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. That's what I really like about my job. Hi, I'm Captain Dr. Chua Tia Long. I'm a medical officer in the Navy Medical Service. I decided to spend one and a half years in National Service where I was posted through the 1st Commander Battalion. I became a detachment commander. Subsequently, I found a lot of meaning in the line of work that I was doing and I decided that signing on as a medical officer aligned my interests in SAF together with my academic pursuit. I'm currently sitting in two roles, first of which is uh, as head of submarine medicine section. This role deals with medical selection and recertification of submariners. Uh, for one thing, and the other aspect deals with providing medical care to them when they go out for their sailing deployments. As submariners, it's a high-risk location. Usually for the medical care, it is uh, to a higher degree. In human performance section, I mainly look at countering fatigue. And this is uh, quite prevalent within RSN because most of our sailors, when they go out to the sea, they are working in shifts. So this role looks specifically at how we can reduce fatigue and increase their effectiveness when they go out for their long sailing deployments. I enjoy exercise, I enjoy swimming, I enjoy scuba diving. When I get a long weekend, I sometimes go scuba diving overseas. If not, I would spend my time in the gym, hang out with my girlfriend, and sometimes with my friends, we just spend our weekends you know, playing Dungeons & Dragons.